Hi everybody, welcome to our virtual nature story time from Gray Rocks Conservation Area. Today we're going to be reading In the Snow, Who's Been Here? by Lindsay Barrett George. This book is a little bit of a mystery. These two children are going to be looking at different animal signs in the woods and trying to find out what kind of animals they are. So if you'd like to make some guesses in this book, we'll see if you can figure out what kind of animal signs they're seeing. It is cold and quiet on this winter morning. Cammy, do you want to go sledding on the hill by the old school? William asks. Sure, Cammy says. Mom says we can put out some corn for the animals on the way, William says. The children walk up the lane and cross the township road. They follow an old trail into the woods. Cammy stops to throw corn on the ground. William sees tracks between some barberry bushes. Who's been here? A ruffed grouse. William and Cammy hike up a small hill. They hear a bird song. Whoot, whoot, whoot. The children reach a clearing in the woods. The bird is gone. Fuzzy red balls sprinkle the snow under a clump of sumac. Who's been here? Who do you think it is? A cardinal. The trail winds along the frozen pond. William and his sister look up into the branches of an old oak tree. They see a leafy nest. Who's been here? A family of gray squirrels. The children pass a hemlock tree. Freshly cut and gnawed branches lie at the bottom of the tree but there are no footprints. Who's been here? A porcupine. Let's put the rest of the corn under that white pine tree, Cammy says. They spread the corn and find a pellet of feathers and bones at the base of the tree. Who's been here? A great horned owl. William stops the toboggan. He sees a small hole in the snow. It is the entrance to a tunnel. Broken acorn shells surround the hole. Who's been here? A chipmunk. William and Cammy follow the trail down to the brook. They see tracks going in and out of the water. William finds a fish head on the bank. Who's been here? A mink and a trout. A clump of birch trees grows along the trail. A patch of bark has been rubbed off one of the trees. Who's been here? A buck. The trail passes through a gate in a stone wall and ends in an open field at the top of the hill. We're here, William says, and it's a long way down. Cammy finds a toboggan with a thermos of hot chocolate, three cups, and some donuts. I wonder who's been here, she asks, but William knows. And here's all the different animals that William and Cammy found in the woods. This book is available at the Minot Sleeper Library, and if you follow me, we are now going to look for some animal tracks thanks to the animal tracking card that the Slim Baker Foundation has available for people to pick up at the Minot Sleeper Library as well. All right, so I hear, here I have our little um, package from the Slim Baker Foundation, which you can pick up at the Minot Sleeper Library. And included in it is 
a guide to some of the animal tracks that you could find right here in the Newfound watershed. And if you look here, we have some tracks. And it looks like they're coming from the water and coming up this way. And if I look at my tracking guide, I would say they might be a gray fox. Here we have two sets of tracks crossing each other. The first set is large and rather round. And when I look at my pocket guide, I would say it could be a bobcat. The second set of tracks right here is much, much smaller. And I can see the shape of a little tail dragging through the snow. I would say that might be a mouse. So far we've seen a lot of different kinds of mammal tracks, but here's something a little different. It looks like perhaps a crow or a different kind of bird footprint. Like we learned in our book, not all animal signs are footprints. Here we have what looks like where a bird came down to catch some prey. You can see the outline of a wing and a tail that brushed against the snow. Once you've completed your animal tracking adventure, you can pull out your animal tracking checklist and see how many of the different types of animals you were able to spot track for. Also in your activity package is a comet strip. What do you think the animals were thinking and doing when they were traveling across where you now see their tracks? Thanks for joining us today for our nature story time and I hope to see you all again soon.